We got 15 minutes. I can smell of wolves here and there by wind. It's just a trivial matter, but I'll check what's going on. Let's find where the smell is from. Uh, this is the worst. Okay. This is a horrible, at least the load times are good. So, uh, yeah? I mean, that's it. That's like the one redeeming quality. Oh, good, there's still crickets. There's nothing to load, it's all bullshit. It's all terrible. Smell of wolves. Oh blood. my god. Look. No, what is that? Antler. It's, it's, <laughs> what the fuck? That's what he is. He's an he's an antler. Uh, tall grass, dude. We'll why is that? Is not a run. Also, why are there antelopes in what's not obviously not Africa? You're in the same area. I know, nothing but I'm is, in like I'm in like every changed. town USA. Where the fuck am I? That shit should be dead. Some guy literally came up with an idea where he was like, what if we made a tiger game, but instead of him being a normal tiger, he's a black tiger. Yeah. And we'll make him edgy with a with a claw and red eyes. I hate well, this game. Success. Is it? Yeah. I would, I'm not sure I would call it that. What was the blue thing I was eating? Mm -hmm. How do I track the smell? Is this the smell? No, it's a bunny. I don't understand it's what It's on your doing. radar. I, I'm, I'm looking at my radar. That's what I'm going towards. I don't even know, man. I don't know fucking either. Oh, it's that green arrow. Wait, is that green arrow? I don't understand. Yeah, kill wolves. Is this so... Do you like, kill other tigers next? Like, so, good game or greatest game? There you go. The red star. Oh, yeah. I found a wolf. I need to kill this game after this. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to never play this the ever again. What the fuck is that? I don't know. It's Simba? What is happening? <laughs> Please, someone saw that. My brain. Did you see that? My brain just exploded. <laughs> Mason, did you see that? Uh, my brain just exploded. <laughs> I, the wheel went around and I loaded something and then just fireworks just popped up from the ground and then there was no what sound. The fuck? What the <laughs> fuck was that? There's I don't, no way. I don't understand. Please happen again. I want to see that shit. I, it has to please God. That was the weirdest I, fucking I, thing. I, don't, I, I, I can't. No. This, I, I, I don't know, have any words for that. This game is literally lowering our, lowering our IQ points. Oh, oh that, was no, that was nothing. So how's your day been? Like, I don't even know what to fucking say. Well, we got it's like, into. Oh, yeah. You guys did get it. Oh, yeah. We were going to talk about that. What happened? So, all right, so our roommate's friend, um, he just went through a really, really bad breakup with his fiance. Did he break into your house? Yes. Watch. Wow. So, oh, yeah, wait, 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 hold on, yeah, before, watch, watch this, watch this. <clears throat> oh, my God. <laughs> Smell it, right? It's so funny. Okay, continue. Garbage. Um, so, we left this is garbage. at our place for a little bit. Because I guess he was like homeless and living out of his car, and he kind of overstayed his welcome. And then we, I guess my roommate called his mother to um, pick him up or whatever, and he left. And there'd be some nights where he would um, come back pounding on our door, like in the middle of the night. I guess he he claims I got kicked out, but I feel like his parents were trying to get him help, and he just left. So yeah, so we would always turn him away just because he was just really mentally unstable. And one time I came home with my friend Marcus and his wife Shelby, and uh, he was he was there. This is one of the nights he was staying, and we parked and just chilled in the car for a little bit, just grabbing our stuff. And we see him see him getting out of his car, and he would be walking up to the house, but then stop, turn around, start talking to himself point at something, turn back around, and just kept doing it over and over again. We're like, what the hell? That's so, weird. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at oh this God. thing. Oh, God. Yes, that's um, fucking bizarre. So, and then I personally noticed sometimes he would come up in his car, his car's pretty loud, um, and just do, like, circles in our cul-de-sac. And I thought it was weird. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I mm. guess last night... I actually saw him at Saddle Ranch, uh -huh. sitting out in the outdoor patio by himself with like three or four bags and like his laptop, and that was just weird as shit. I didn't want to approach him, and I think nothing of it. I went home. I think I was the last one to get home. 
and I, you know, I noticed that our dog came through I'm our sorry. doggy hole, and it was fine. And then I go wake up in the morning, get ready for work, whatnot. I go to work, and then my roommate texts us in the group chat saying, "Hey, did you, did you guys, uh, uh, do you know what happened with the doggy door?" No, why? He says it's broken. You like you always losing him. <laughs> Yes. So I, t- I call Eloy, and Eloy's filling me in. Apparently, Sensor. tried coming. I'm sorry. Sensor. Or yeah, yeah. Name, well, I'll bleep it. I, I'll edit it. So I'll bleep name it out. Omitted. No, no big deal. Yeah. Uh, he uh, came at to the house at three in the morning. This is when I was passed out because I was still kind of I was kind of drunk, so I was sleeping. Yes. I had no idea what was going on. So apparently, he came to the house, banging on our door at three in the morning. And uh, tried getting in, and then my roommate was like, "No, dude, you, you can't do this. This is like so uncool." Yeah, and I guess we turned up. him away. So in the morning, my roommate saw the doggy door and asked what was going on, and he kind of had like I didn't know what was going on because I was asleep, but he knew that it was probably him <laughs> trying to get in, trying to get into our house. Our doggy door was broken, like unscrewed and just. Yeah. Holy and shit. And it looked like somebody tried to put it back to what, how it was, but it wasn't. Like, it was hanging off. So anyways, I call I call Eloy, and I'm like, dude, what's going on? He was playing me in this situation. And um, I get a text from Nate saying, uh, uh, from my roommate, saying that, uh, hey, can you guys lock the third car garage? 13 fucking walls. And then... <laughs> And then I hear, while I'm talking to Eloy, I hear my roommate come in and say, Dude, he's still in our garage. What the fuck? He was sleeping in our garage. So he didn't steal anything? No, he didn't steal anything. He was, he, we all, like, he, we know him. He was trying to find a place to sleep. But he broke into our house to do it. And, and the funny part is, um, when Nate was assuming that he tried breaking in. He didn't see, he didn't assume that he was there. He just assumed that he tried breaking in and left. When Nate and AJ were talking in the garage about the situation, that's where he was. Asleep. So nobody noticed he was there. What the fuck? And then it was at that point where uh, uh, AJ was like, okay, I'm going to go lock the garage. And he wanted to go check something. And then he noticed the silhouette of a human in the people position. And he was in there. Sleeping, all cut up with a bunch of lightning. The ski mask on, if anything. He didn't. He didn't have the ski mask on. The ski mask on was like the ski mask was outside. You know, by but his he, skateboard. But he did bring a ski mask. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he did. Yeah. But, what was like the cop? The cop made a joke. The uh, cop. The cop was made a. D- <laughs> he was like, oh. So- so he saw the ski mask. He was like, "Oh, so it gets cold at night, huh?" <laughs> it was the funniest shit. It's funny when I saw him at Sour Ranch. Legit sitting by himself at a table inside the patio. He was on his computer wearing the ski mask. That's fucking yeah, creepy. that was weird. And if I saw him trying to break into our house in a ski mask, imagine if I had my pistol. Mm. I mean, I do hold not like have knives in my room, one right next to my dresser. Like, if I didn't know who that was. And it got to like a bad situation, like that could have been. Yeah, that could definitely have been fucking terrible. Yeah. And how, how do we know he was sleeping in our house while we were all sleeping? I was getting ready in the morning, and he was in the garage. Imagine if like this like mentally unstable person held a, some sort of resentment for us not letting him sleep in the, the house. That'd be weird. Mm. So well, I, yeah, I, I don't he might have just like him. tried to fucking kill you guys. Yeah, I don't know him as much as as, as our roommate does, but. Even so, it's like, what if he like try to did come? Some weird yeah, shit, you know, like from from what I've known, or, like, did something. Like, from what I've known from him before, like he was a really cool guy. He was really no, sweet and I caring and really cool. Too. But then, but right when this whole shit him, like got flipped, like I don't know what is. I, I didn't know. Yeah, well, like, when, when Eli, well I've that done that too, there. but it depends on the situation. No, 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 no. this is like like I've done that in my house. Where I'm like, hmm, what am I gonna do today? No, this is straight schizophrenic. Like, I'm oh, like back and forth. Now, for example, when I uh, when Eli told me he was still there, I I rushed home. I took the bus though, and 
after I, I on the way back, I got the text that uh, yeah, the cops came and escorted him out. So when I got to my <laughs> light, <laughs> he always losing himself to the stupid game. We've killed oh like God. so many wolves. <laughs> wolf yeah, no, there's a big wolf. No, it I just says survive. I'm just gonna run. I'm not gonna fight him. <laughs>